good morning students obedience is the first step to achieve success in your life so my dear children obey your parents teachers and all elders yes children last class we have learnt about the uses of acids say some uses of acids yes first one hydrochloric acid present in our stomach helps in the digestion of food stuff vinegar is used to preserve food materials benzoic acid is also used to preserve food materials like pickles sulfuric acid is called the king of chemicals yes children yes children now we can see some of the common bases in some products bases then products first one magnesium hydroxide magnesium hydroxide magnesium hydroxide is an important ingredient of milk of magnesia milk of magnesia second one sodium hydroxide sodium hydroxide is an important ingredient of detergents third one ammonium hydroxide solution of cleaning windows fourth one calcium hydroxide calcium hydroxide is an important ingredient of lime water chunamuthani lime water then fifth one potassium hydroxide potassium hydroxide is an important ingredient of soap soft soft soap we will see the physical properties of bases physical properties of bases first point bases exist in solid state then bases some of the bases exist in liquid state example ammonium hydroxide and calcium hydroxide then second point bases give soapy touch soapy touch then only in aqueous media not in dry nature what is aqueous media containing water then third point bases are bitter in taste fourth point bases are corrosive in nature they are corrosive in nature when come in contact with the skin frequently they form painful blisters blisters what is blisters copulum then erasing and outer skin the next point bases are generally colorless then sixth point bases change the color of the indicators change the color of the indicators the next point bases contact electricity in aqueous solution bases contact electricity in aqueous solution aqueous means what containing water then pass on to chemical properties of chemical properties of bases yes first point 
reaction with metals. Generally, metals do not react with bases. Yes, but aluminium reacts with sodium hydroxide with water to form sodium aluminate and hydrogen. So, 3 H2 then 2 NaLO2 so sodium 2 NaOH 2 Al. So, balance the equation yes hydrogen also 2 yes. Then next react with metal oxides react with metal oxides sodium hydroxide sodium hydroxide reacts with carbon dioxide to form Sodium carbonate and water. Sodium carbonate and water is Na2, so 2 NaOH. Is yes, now the equation is balance. Is yes, third one reaction with ammonium salt. Reaction with ammonium salt. Ammonium chloride react with sodium hydroxide. Ammonium chloride react with sodium hydroxide to form sodium chloride ammonia gas. Ammonium gas. Ammonium chloride reacts with sodium hydroxide. To form sodium chloride, ammonium gas, then water. Then similarities between between acids and bases. Acids and bases. Yes. Now we say the similarities, what are the same characters which are present in acids and bases. Say first point say, all of you say, yes. They are corrosive in nature. They are corrosive in nature. What's the second point say? They undergo ionization in aqueous solution. Ionization. In aqueous solution, both acids and bases undergo ionization in aqueous solution. What is that ionization? Acid releases hydrogen ions in water. Bases releases hydroxide ion in water. Then third one. Both acids and bases, they conduct electricity. They conduct electricity. In aqueous solution. Then fourth one. They undergo neutralization reaction. Neutralization reaction. What is neutralization reaction? Acid and base react to form salt and water. That we can say that what? Neutralization reaction. What are the similarities between acid and bases? Both of them are corrosive in nature. They undergo ionization reaction. Then they conduct electricity. They undergo neutralization reaction. Yes, children we know that bases change the color of the indicators. Take red litmus paper. When we dip the red litmus paper in base, in soap water, it turns blue 
it turns blue yes again we can take that red litmus paper and dip in sodium hydroxide solution this also base sodium hydroxide solution the color now turns in blue yes this is phenaphthalene when we add phenaphthalene with base phenaphthalene with base sodium hydroxide oh super it turns pink in color yes when we add methyl orange with base sodium hydroxide solution it turns yellow in color it turns yellow in color yes children now we can see the difference between the acids as well as which one base again we can take that red litmus paper that red litmus paper we can dip into the base sodium hydroxide solution it turns blue in color it turns blue in color then take the blue litmus paper blue litmus paper and dip in acid it turns red in color it turns red in color yes thank you children yes now you can see the differences between acids and bases yes so let us see the first point acids produce hydrogen ions good bases produce hydroxide ions good what's the taste acids are sour in taste they are bitter in taste yes third point most of the acids are liquid in state most of the bases are solid in taste solid in state is few acids are few acids most of the acids are liquid in state few acids are solid in state here few bases are liquid in state then the fourth point acids turn blue litmus paper red blue litmus paper red red in color then bases turn red litmus paper blue Uh, now recall with me children say some physical properties of bases yes good bases are bitter in taste bases are generally colorless bases also change the color of the indicators lead litmus paper turns blue when treated with bases similarly they turn methyl orange yellow and phenolphthalein pink then uh, chemical properties of bases all bases react with non metallic oxides to form salt and water bases react with ammonium salts to form metal salts ammonia gas and water yes children you have to study this physical and chemical properties thoroughly and write it in your notebook thank you children